Hey developers, let's take a look at learning Vim with a video game. How did we do it? Hey everybody. So before we begin, just let me remind everyone that there is super cheap courses on Udemy. I think all the way until July 3rd or 4th, um, maybe July 1st. But if you want, go to udemy.com or click on the links below. There's some affiliate links I have for some courses that I like. You click on those, you can get super cheap courses they're about $10, $10, $15, somewhere around their range. So double check that out. So today I was looking around and I'm a big Vim fan. And I, I heard a statistic that the number one stack overflow question by traffic, and it's been this way for a couple of years now, is how to exit the Vim editor, which I think is really funny. So a, a ton of people, I guess, open up Vim and they don't know how to exit it. And it, it literally tells you here, like, type quit, enter to quit Vim, uh, colon quit, or colon Q, or colon WQ. So I, I just thought that was pretty funny that there's so many people, like, stuck who can't get out of Vim. I think it even, like, it naturally people hit control Z, or control C, I should say. I think control Z, Q works too. But if you hit control C, it even tells you right on the screen, like how to exit. So, I, but I guess people still get stuck. I thought that was funny. Anyways, so there is a a, a website. If you go to vim-adventures.com, you will see this game come up. And the cool thing about this is it teaches you the common keys in Vim to get started. And so you can learn it in kind of a fun way. Now. It only has, I think, one or two levels, and then you have to pay $25 to get the full game. And $25 is only good for one year. So it's a little pricey if you want to actually pay for it. But just to get started, uh, it's well worth it. I haven't paid for it, so I don't know what the higher levels look like. But I just wanted to show everybody about it. Now, this game's been out for a while, so anybody that's into Vim will probably know about this. There's also something called Vim Golf which uh, there it is right here. So this is a more of a competition website that they're trying to find the least amount of keystrokes to do certain operations. This is a little bit more for advanced people and actually it doesn't seem like it's loading right now. So I'm not gonna get into this, but there's, there's quite a few resources out there for Vim. Um, one of them I mentioned before is also Vim Awesome. I think it's vimawesome.com. And this is really cool. You can just look up all the different plugins. It tells you what to do to install it. If you use Vundle, Neo Bundle, Vim Plug, Pathogen, gives uh, just kind of quick information about it. it. Has links to the Vim.org and GitHub pages. So I mean, it makes it really easy. So going back to learning Vim and this adventure game. So let's start here. You could see from you could see from the screen here. It kind of tells you how to move. And of course, the basics of Vim is you move around with H, L, K, and J. So H moves left, L moves right, K moves up, J moves down. Uh, L moves right, so we'll move right here. And it says, hooray, I can't believe it. The shadow cursor has come at last. Soon the old prophecy will be fulfilled. So I'll play this for a few minutes here. OK, so he has hello world here. So we'll move around. You can only move the cursor. You can't use the left, right arrows. It actually tells you. Yes, Vim allows you to use the cursor keys in order to move around, and so the game also allows it. However, for a pure Vim experience, you should stick to using H, J, K, and L. It's considered more efficient, so you don't have to move your hand from one home room to another. So we're going to do it the most efficient way. So you can move around. You can jump over places. Yippee! There is a built-in help system in this game. If you ever need a full explanation, an example of what key does or how it's used, just type colon help followed by the key. For example, try help J without any quotes. So let's try help. It's kind of, you can see a little bit cut off a little bit at the bottom, but yeah, it tells you how to move around with J. The help screen for a specific key can, will also be displayed when you collect a key, but sometimes you'll need to ask for verification the capital variation of key. So it's telling you can also, when we did help J, it says you can also do like JJ2J, which would move it over, 
move it over and then you can change it by two. So you can do like two JJ. Uh, I don't have a two button. Okay, so you can't do that yet, but in the future you can. So we're kind of in a maze here. Let's see what happens here. Remember words are not words. I don't have control R button. So let's see here. Let's go over here and let's keep moving. Let's see what this next person says. So we'll move up here. To reach the treasure chest, you should know words are separated by spaces. You need you need W, E, and B buttons capital to navigate words. So I think it's saying that in Vim, you use W to kind of switch between different words. And you can use the capital W, E, and B button capitals to navigate words. So let's try that. But first, let's go get the key. So we got the key. So we can open the treasure chest. And, or maybe we can go through the door. Let me see here. Can we get back out? So let's get back out. Let's keep going. Maybe. Let's see what else we can do here. We got the key. So then open the door here. Moving up or down to a shorter line in water moves you into the last column of the shorter line. But if you keep moving to a longer line, you'll end up the same column where you started. Yippee! Okay, so we're kind of stuck. We can't really go any Yippee! farther here. You don't have the W button. You don't have the back button. There's nothing over here. Go back over. Just get scrolling if I press any key. sure what to do here. Let's take a look. Yippee! To reach the treasure chest, you should know words, word, S, are separated by spaces. You need W, E, and B buttons, capitals, to navigate words. W, count words, position the cursor at the beginning of the word. A word, help word, consists of sequence of non-blank characters separated with white space, space times in. Let's help word. A word consists of sequence non-blank characters. Use W, E, and B to navigate words. In special cases, C, W is created. Hmm. So we still 
Still can't get over there. Okay. Let's keep looking. So I'm missing something. I think it need I need to get in there where the treasure chest is. But I'm not sure how to get over there. jumped over here. Now we jumped over here. Very good. Oh, Shadow One, you learned the HK, so go on. I wonder if we can get back to where we were. We'll go back there in a second. I want to get that treasure chest. Maybe there's no way we can easily get it. exclamation point we can't we don't have anything to move to the front of the sentence all right we're coming back there I know I can get in there but we'll see what we can do to get in there So what I'm doing is I'm pressing K to go up, and it's since it always goes to the back of the line, it's going to it, so I can traverse it. So there ill. So what's this guy say? To fulfill the prophecy, you have to understand Vim words. A word is a sequence of letters, digits, and underscores, or a sequence of punctuation marks, or an empty line. Find finding W, B, and E will help you navigate words. So. So I think I gotta grab him. Okay, now I can do W. So I should be able to go through to different words by hitting W. So I can go to each word here. Oops. I don't have B for back yet. There we go. So now I have E forward to the end of the word count. Position the cursor at the end of the word. All right, I'm going to split the video off here. And in the next video, I will continue my Vim adventure. And if you like these type of videos, click the subscribe button. That really helps me out. And click that like button. Thanks.